bantamweight bout. The 43-year-old Guido Canetti still doing the damn thing. Plus 80 set or 875 in this one. Taking on Mario Batista as a minus 875 favorite. Over under one and a half rounds, plus 147 for the over, minus 147 for the under. Man, uh, I would I'm still surprised that Guido Canetti is in the UFC, but not surprised at the same time because the man's on a two-fight win streak. They faced him up against Chris Moutinho, and they thought they were giving Moutinho kind of a layup for taking that fight against Sean O'Malley. And it turns out Guido Canetti puts him out in round one. Um, Canetti was on a three-fight losing streak at that point. He was, you know, 41 years old. He fights Moutinho, or he was 42. Fights Moutinho, gets the win, and they're like, damn, well. We'll give you another one. We'll give you Randy Costa, and he's a, a plus 240 dog in that one. Submits Randy Costa in the first round. They're like, damn, you got some, you got something left in you, Guido. We're going to match up against Mario Batista to make sure you, you lose this fight. <laughs> so <laughs> That's pretty much how this one goes. Uh, I don't – it's scary because Guido is – he's dangerous in that first round, man. He, he's very dangerous. He doesn't look like he's 43. I'll, I'll just say that. He looks like he's in great shape always. Bautista looks like he could really be something in that bandweight division. The thing that scares me is that that loss to Trevin Jones where he got clipped in that second round. Um, but as of late, I mean, he's on a three-fight win streak. I can't really say he's winning against guys that are that great. I mean, Jay Perrin, who is cut from the UFC now. Brian right. Kelleher, who's... A vet, but and, and he's got a lot of losses under his record. Benito Lopez, who is coming back after like three years off in that fight, submits him in the first round. I mean, you're probably obviously the money line is not really playable at that price. I mean, minus 875 on bet openly is probably going to be minus a thousand somewhere around there on a regular book if you want to parlay it. Uh, and it's just honestly, it's not even worth it. Like, the power that Guido uh, possesses, minus 900, I'm not touching it. But at the same time, Batista probably gets it done, probably in the first round, if not second round. Could do it either way. Very talented everywhere the fight goes. But other than that, I'll take Batista for the pick, of course. And uh, I'll be looking at props for sure in this fight. What about you? Yeah, same here because, I mean, Kennedy shocked – I don't want to say shocked the world or shocked me, but he surprised me a little bit in that last fight because Costa, pretty talented on the feet. Um, and Kennedy said, here, here's your, you just got your UFC contract. I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half for you and hand you this loss. Um, you know, Kennedy being that old definitely doesn't fight like he's that old and, and has a little bit left in the tank. But Batista is just recently, especially, has looked like a world beater. I mean, he can, he can get it done any way possible. Um, you know, his two losses come to Corey Sandhagen by armbar a while ago, and then Trevin Jones, which doesn't age great because Trevin's now lost four in a row. But I mean, everybody knows Trevin's pretty dangerous. Trevin is Trevin is pretty dangerous. I mean, he had Cody Garbrandt kind of on the ropes there last Saturday on in the last round. So, um, but oh, after that, you know, what's what's he was, that? He was all good. He you think all- so? <laughs> no, no, Dude, I think I think Trevin was yeah piecing him up there for a minute, but uh. But yeah, I mean, rattled off three good wins after that. Um, I don't necessarily think this is a step up in competition for Batista. Yeah, I, I'm not going to touch him. Obviously, at minus eight fifty to minus, you know, thousand or ten to one. So um, yeah, definitely going to be l- looking at a finishing prop. It's just going to depend like how you think he gets it done because he can definitely get it done either way here. But yeah, Batista the pick all day long. I don't, I don't think Kennedy is going to have enough left to hang in there with a young killer like Batista.